Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. We'll start tonight with that developing story. A major crackdown on a notorious gang on Long Island. At least 40 men, alleged members of the MS-13 gang, arrested on a range of charges, including conspiracy and assault. The indictments are the latest in recent law enforcement efforts to take down the gang, which is also accused of murder. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez, live in Mineola at the courthouse. Hazel. Well, Dana, the Nassau County District Attorney says this was the largest mass arrest of, of MS-13 gang members on Long Island. It was a collaborative effort between the DA's office, the Nassau County Police Gang Investigation Squad, and Homeland Security. And law enforcement authorities say that this is a huge step in eliminating this violent transnational gang. Ironically, wearing a t shirt touting strictly good vibes only, suspect Frank Maranta says he was shocked to be among dozens arrested this morning for alleged involvement with the MS 13 gang. Maranta says he's not in a gang. His family members who showed up to support him in Nassau County Court say he's wrongly accused. So he's not involved at all? No, he is That's all. Nassau County prosecutors say they've indicted more than 40 people for their alleged involvement with the notorious MS-13 gang. While many were arrested this morning, a large number of the accused are already in jail for previous felony charges. Today is incredibly significant. This is 41 alleged gang members that have been wreaking havoc in Nassau County for quite some time. The indictment stretches back to 2013. We are sending a very clear and strong message that we're not going to tolerate it. This gang roundup comes about seven weeks after U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions visited Long Island, vowing to rid the area of the violent transnational gang. MS-13 is allegedly responsible for at least 17 murders on Long Island since January of 2016, including the murders of 16-year-old Kayla Cuevas and 15-year-old Nisa Mickens, whose bodies were found not far from their Brentwood school in September. Today's indictment of the 41 individuals will have a significant impact on the safety of those communities where they were operating. The defendants face several different charges, including conspiracy, attempted murder, assault, and weapons charges. Some of the defendants could face up to life in prison if found guilty. And the youngest defendant arrested today is just 15 years old. We're live in Mineola. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Hazel, thank you. New